five people have a mental health uh, problem right this moment. That's 1.5 billion people. How many of them do you think will get any help from a mental health professional for the next 12 months? In the Western world, it's about 10%. There are just not enough health professionals to help everybody. So take one example, uh, panic attacks. It's an anxiety disorder. It, um, it happens out of the blue. You get intense fear. Your um, heart is racing. You start shivering. It's difficult to breathe. Many think they will become crazy or they will uh, die. It uh, kind of destroys your life because you start to avoid normal uh, activities um, because you're afraid when it will happen again. It takes, on average, seven years before you get any treatment from the start of the symptoms. And then this for, uh, this for something that you could treat yourself in just uh, weeks if you just knew what to do. Uh, mental health professionals are well aware of this uh, treatment gap. So they have tried to do uh, a lot of different things to scale it up. And most notable, well, they've uh, done it with uh, self-help books. So they tried to uh, create uh, books that uh, many can, uh, uh, can use, and, uh, but they're not really that engaging. It's kind of like one size fits none. And in the recent years, um, there have been development of uh, apps trying to use the internet, but they kind of do the same thing. They scan the books and they put it online. It's not really engaging, and it, it just helps a fraction of uh, people. Uh, so it's not as good as psychotherapy. I think it's time for psychology to take a leap into a, a new world, uh, to use technology, uh, to try to use the engaging technologies that we uh, all know uh, and try to integrate that with internet-assisted treatment. What if we could create internet treatments that were as engaging as Facebook? What if we could reach out to all those in the treatment uh, gap uh, to really uh, help them? So, I created an author tool together with a few engineers and uh, mental health uh, professionals. And we're a small uh, community who are developing uh, different interventions with uh, activities, uh, techniques, uh, and homework that you can do uh, online. And uh, the group has created quite a, a few uh, internet programs for gambling, for depression, anxiety, fear of uh, seeing blood. And there's even someone who's created a computer game addiction program delivered by computer. <laughs> so imagine uh, one day that you get uh, suddenly intense chest pain. You're wondering, uh, uh, could it be a heart attack? It's really scary, right? So you call an ambulance, and uh, at the hospital, they'll do a bunch of tests. Um, they'll, they'll check ECG, blood samples, CT, angiography, and whatnot. In about 20% of the cases, they will uh, find a heart problem or another underlying physical problem. Uh, for those patients, they will get uh, quite expensive treatment, uh, but they, their health will, on average, be improved over the next year, and their life of quality will also be improved. For the rest part, uh, the 80%, they will not find anything. So they will send you home, often the same day. Uh, and, the, and the rest part uh, is really strange, because their health for the next year will get worse. They will uh, actually spend almost as much health resources on the next uh, year as the heart patients. And they will spend it on treatment that really doesn't uh, work for them. They should have told you that in the ambulance, that hope you have a heart problem. <laughs> it turns out that a big portion of, uh, of uh, this rest group uh, have panic attacks. And they are right there in the beginning, 
and many don't even know about it uh, yet. They have years before they're going to see someone like me. So we thought a bit about that, and uh, we sat together a group, and uh, we created a chest pain program. So we focus on chest pain, not on panic attacks. Uh, and it's a six-week internet-delivered uh, program, which you get the first part uh, right before you're released from the hospital. Uh, and uh, you get uh, homework and activities to do, and each week a uh, friendly doctor will call you for five minutes and ask you how your, uh, how your week went, and how, had you, did you have any problems with the homework. And homework is uh, really just uh, physical activity, even if you have chest pain. So it's exposure therapy, uh, what we psychologists would call it. And it uh, uh, worked really well. In our, our pi pilot, we had 80% uh, who, in those six weeks, uh, had either uh, completely, the, the symptoms were completely gone, or uh, they were on the way, on the trail of uh, being, getting rid of the uh, symptoms. And it also held, uh, holds up for the uh, long term, for one year uh, measurement. And I think there are a lot of opportunities in mental health care where we could detect uh, problems long, long, long before uh, we actually see them as uh, therapists. And I think both in healthcare or by searching Google, we should seek ways to reach out. Uh, to people and help them with internet uh, treatment. And I believe that could uh, be part of uh, bridging or closing that treatment gap uh, that uh, we all have problems of um, fixing. Thank you.